Today, the church celebrates the great solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, two of our very first martyrs who gave their lives to preach the gospel. We see in both people, both Peter and Paul, people who have had great conversions. Peter, a humble fisherman who is then elected the first pope and is asked to go and preach the gospel. And St. Paul, a persecutor of the faith originally, who then upon encountering the risen Christ is then tasked to preach to the Gentiles especially. Both of these remarkable saints, transformed completely in their heart, went out to actually preach this gospel. As our colleague alludes to, these two saints give us the beginnings of right religion. When we see that word religion, it is such an important word for us. We understand, obviously, our faith to be a religion in the true sense. Religion being that virtue of justice by which we bind ourselves to the truth. Peter and Paul show us who that truth is, Jesus Christ. To bind ourselves to the true and living God. To bind ourselves to he who is the way, the truth, and the life. And to do so with our whole heart. They show this in their own preaching, and especially in the way that they give their lives the way that they exhibited courage in the face of adversity, the way that they exhibited virtue in a time when virtue was not something that was seen as good. And yet, their love for Jesus filled their hearts, inflamed their hearts, and allowed them to go to the entire world and to preach the good news. This inspires us to do the same. These two humble figures who then became the great seedbed for our faith. It's because of their preaching that we have the faith now. There's a beautiful poetic element of Peter and Paul and their relationship with the city of Rome. In legend, it was the twins Romulus and Remus that founded that great city that became the center of the world for so long. And it was the twin apostles, Peter and Paul, who by the shedding of their blood founded the church in Rome. Because of their witness and because of their foundation, we too have our faith that is passed on to us, that same faith that was given to them by Jesus Christ. And we live in that joy. So today, let's look to that joy. Let's look to Jesus Christ and let's look to the faith that they have given us to hold fast to that and to let that be the source of all our joy today and every day. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.